shown at the beginning of the film, a house on fire with a girl walking and passing out on the street. But we will understand this later because now we go 8 years in the future and the girl is escaping from the best character of the previous movie. Yes from the Rottweiler who chases her for a while. And though the girl seems to have practiced parkour. Or something the blind man ends up grabbing her pulls out a gun and tells her that she failed the test because apparently her name is Phoenix she's his daughter and they were training survival methods or something like that the important thing about this story is that a couple of years ago the house where they live burned down her mother died there and all the photos and memories she had with her were set on fire we've met some incredible families but this could be the saddest story. We've ever seen oh and an important fact is that the girl has a lock of white hair and she keeps singing a horrible song that her mother used to sing to her. When she was younger and you gotta be a bad shake that asked for a tip if you were bad so remember those two things oh okay the blind man won't let her go to the city. Because he says it's too dangerous but one day he lets her go with his family friend named Hernandez so they go for a walk. They visit the house to leave flowers for her mother but then she starts to hear strange noises. Anyway nothing happens there on TV we find out that in town there is a fugitive surgeon who is wanted for children's organ trafficking and Phoenix dreams of living and playing with some children from an orphanage. At one point she goes to the toilet and a strange guy named Raylin appears and though at first he doesn't let her leave then the best character in the movie shows up and they both leave but the weird guy follows her in a van and they have a cooler as if they were trafficking organs and on top of that after dropping Phoenix off at her house Hernandez runs into these weird guys. Who are apparently a bit crazy because they were in Iraq and even though it looks like they're going to let her go and Hernandez is about to call the police the worst happens well the worst. Because while Phoenix and her father are talking about how she wants to go to a normal school and stuff like that outside someone tries to shoot the best character in the movie and on top of that all the bad guys show up at the door of the house and then the blind man opens the door to feed the dog but it's not there and on top of that it didn't eat the food from before and on top of that the guys broke into the house. Anyway nobody cares that the weirdos have entered the house or that the girl has to hide nobody cares. The important thing is that the blind man finds Shadow and the best character of the movie was killed. This means war meanwhile Phoenix is about to escape from the house still later the blind man shows up and she has time to hide in some kind of safe in the basement oh and while the blind man is healing his wound the blonde guy comes in to look for him ends up putting glue in his mouth dot but the brother saves him and they go to look for the blind man then one of the bad guys starts to fill the box with water and grabs a wire to electrocute the girl so the blind man appears and they start to fight. In the end the girl survives and the two of them hide in a greenhouse but at that moment Raylan starts talking to her. It's not me you need to be scared of but the man standing next to you no I don't know who he is but I know who he's not then the blind man appears he gets hit in the head and Raylan shows him a lock of white hair I can't believe what I'm seeing yeah because apparently he's her real dad a couple of years ago there was a fire at her house the police blamed it on him he spent 8 years in prison and the old man found her and took care of her during all that time. And when the guys are about to kill the old man I don't know how he manages to escape then he ends up killing the blonde dude and finally they go back into the house. At one point Raylan sends his dog the girl hides in a room escapes through the window and the bad guys end up catching her and meanwhile the blind man is attacked by the dog and even though he can kill it he doesn't and ends up controlling it like Caesar Milan but at that moment Raylan grabs a bunch of Molotov cocktails that were in the cooler and though this bald guy tells him that his dog is inside Raylan doesn't care about the dog's life he says. It's probably already dead and sets the whole house on fire and it would seem that the bald guy is a good guy but it's all pretty weird it's really hard to know who the good guys are in this movie anyway the group escapes the blind guy frees the dog because that's what Amanda's jumps out of a window and in the end escapes the burning house Raylin escapes with the girl and the rest of the team to an abandoned hotel. There they talk for a while he tells her what her birthday is her mother's name that she has no siblings and things like that that her name is actually Tara that everything the man told her was false and that now she's free to do whatever she wants so the girl grabs her things and leaves but in the hotel there's a bunch of weird people and there's this guy who was on the news wanted for organ trafficking and child abduction run. But when she's about to leave someone appears singing that song from the beginning and you gotta be a bad shake that asks for tip if you're a bad I love this song apparently it's her mother who is alive the trauma she's gonna have for life anyway they started looking at family pictures but at that moment we realized that her mother is up dot are you okay. 
Yes, this is healthy golf blood no well actually it's not really healthy to cough blood because apparently the fire burned her from the inside because in the basement they had a drug kitchen I guess the house caught fire because of that and the smoke from the chemicals hurt her heart so she's dying and the only thing she can do to survive is I need a new heart baby what and the only compatible heart is her daughter's. So they put her to sleep and apparently they were going to do the transplant right there meanwhile the house caught fire I don't understand how not a single fire truck or police car showed up but what did show up was the dog who is now his best friend and after realizing that Hernandez is also dead. She grabs a bell puts it on the dog and makes him take it to the abandoned hotel. Where his owner is meanwhile the bad guys are gonna do the surgery and apparently the doctor has to keep her alive as long as possible so that the heart stays. Fresh O and remember that the bald Raul seemed like a good guy well he tells his other partner that what they are doing is wrong but apparently they are the ones selling the drugs so they need the cook to stay alive and now yes the surgery starts well the surgery doesn't start at all because the power goes out in the whole building and the guy with the weird hairstyle goes to see what's going on there the surgeon tells him he can't work without electricity so the plan is to grab the girl and get out of there and meanwhile the rest of the team goes to look for the blind man who is lying in the water playing dead. The blind man kills all three and only Raul is left. But remember I told you that he seemed like a good guy well in the end he was a good guy he tells the blind man that they are going to kill the girl tells him where to go look for her and lets him live at all this rail and the woman and the surgeon escape with the girl well actually the surgeon doesn't because at one point he gets the hell out of there this anyway he doesn't get very far because the blind man kills him after that he grabs some cans with gas and the final fight between the blind man and Raylan takes place Anyway the woman dies the girl though she fell into the pool is fine but when she wants to approach the blind man he tells her to go away that everything Raylan told her was true and that he himself is a monster for all the things he did during his life but just at that moment Raylan appears who apparently is still alive stabs him. Then Phoenix kills her biological father and even though she wants to save the blind man he doesn't let her I can save you. And the protagonist of the saga dies the girl goes alone to the orphanage she liked to live with a lot of friends and to be able to overcome all the traumas that will remain from her childhood and finally she is asked what her name is my name is phoenix but wait dashboard of course there's more because in the post credits scene the dog appears and sits next to the blind man in what looks like he's still alive no idea that was don't breathe to comment which series the film ends with this scene